Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I have been using and some of my empties and just kind of give you an update on my Mohs surgery. So hopefully this won't be a long video because I don't have a lot of stuff, but if you're curious, stay tuned. So thank you so much for joining me. For those of you that are here because of the Mohs surgery, I'm going to include a sort of some images that um, that you can see. For the rest of you, you might want to skip fast forward for a minute so that you don't get grossed out. But for those of you that are really curious as to what happens when your face kind of gets disfigured and your self-esteem gets blown out of the water, oh, then this is for you, at least this part. So I had Mohs surgery on my face on um, June 22nd, and it was right here. And the surgery, as you can see from the photos, the surgery went from the very corner of my eyelid down to the very edge of my nostril. And I seriously, I was so grossed out looking at myself, I seriously did not think my face would ever be somewhat normal. Now they did prepare me for the fact that I would have swelling and I would have, you know, scar tissue and things of that nature and it was going to take a good year, maybe even longer for my face to kind of recover. And the hope was that it would recover nicely without having, you know, potentially a ton of plastic surgery on the scar. So on the June 22nd, I went to an awesome surgeon and they got all the the the, cell, the cancer cells out and I had clean margins. But again, I had all of that scar. I think I had, I might have like 12 stitches on the outside and I don't even know how many on the inside. But anyways, what I'm gonna show you is the progression of sort of each month until now, five months later. It'll be six months right before Christmas. I'm not too sure when you're gonna be seeing this. Um, this is filmed a little bit after Thanksgiving. But I just wanted to show you that there is hope. I mean, even if you if you look at the last photos of my my scar, basically, without any makeup, I do have some eye makeup on in the very last one, but without any face makeup on, and you'll see that the scar is still there. And I can see the puckering around my nostril, and that's where a lot of my scar tissue is. And to get rid of that scar tissue, it'll break up if I massage it, but it takes a long time. And that's a real hard spot to massage. So I've been using my Foreo, I have a Foreo, um, I think it's Foreo Mini. And I've been using that very, very lightly on the vibrating just right in the corner here that I can't seem to get with my finger. And so far, and I mean lightly, I don't put a lot of pressure on at all, um, but so far that's, I think, been doing really well. All I've done on my scar is I've done two scar aways. I will link them below. I have a scar away gel, and then I have one that's a little bit more advanced, costs a little bit more money, but that also has the SPF factor in it. So both of them will be linked below. If you know anyone that's going through most, highly recommend it. Until I got clearance to actually start to do other things on my face, I stopped using my Retin-A. I stopped using any you know of the normal skincare normally I would do vitamin C etc I stopped all of that so I really I really I mean I I'm so happy with the results of my scar and you know I sometimes will look and I'm going wow I can see the swelling I can see that I'm still swollen on this side of my face and you know this cheek is fatter than this cheek but I think that will probably settle down. It's been five months, so we'll see what six months brings us, but have faith and have hope. You know, um, get that stuff off your face. Use plenty of sunblock. That's the big thing for me that they said, you know, as I was healing, because I had my surgery in the middle of the summer, and here I am, you know, I went camping, you know, went away. I tried to lead my, my most normal life, but I wore a ton of hats, and I wore hats that had built-in sunblock. You know, they have hats where you can buy the material that has um, SPF in it. So I wore all sun protective type hats and lots of sunblock 
on my face and I continued on my, my normal routine. The first few, you know, the first two months I was very, very self-conscious, especially when we didn't have to wear masks anymore. I remember the at, right after, so we still had to wear masks in public. And I was like really happy that I could go groceries and no one would be staring at me because they couldn't see it. So um, I'm really, really pleased. I'm really pleased with the results. And, and I, as much as it beat up my self-esteem going through that, even though it may sound vain, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of vanity in, included in it because it's our face, right? We are women. And it, it, it was, for me, it was traumatic, very traumatic. But I'm on that other end of it now. The doctor said when I hit the six month mark, I was really gonna notice and feel a lot better. I hit, even though I haven't hit this six months yet, I got to that feeling almost in month four. I could start to see, wow, this is really gonna look normal again sometime. And that made me feel, that made me feel so good. <laughs> It really did. So there is hope. Now I'm back on a regular skincare routine. Um, I'm right. I'm using my, you know, my normal things that I normally do, including I'm using my vitamin C. And when I wash in the morning, very gently, because I don't feel my skin is dirty. So sometimes it's just a, a wet, hot face cloth. But once I started to peel a little bit more from getting back on Retin A, because I was off it. Then I started to, okay, I've got to do some exfoliation and I've been trying a couple of different things. But anyways, finished up my Timeless completely. That's my vitamin C that I've been using. I'm using, so my battery died and that's probably why I'm in a different position. But I finished my Timeless. I actually had two of these going and one that I had in my motorhome, which I, when I emptied out all the stuff from the motorhome to winterize, I found it and I said, oh my gosh, I forgot I had it. So I had two of those. But what I've been doing is I've been using the, Fiara sense uh, um vitamin C and I, I talked about that in a previous video. I really, really like it. It's a very citrusly citrus smell and it plays really nice with my, my makeup. So I really like that. But all done with timeless. Not saying I'm not gonna buy it again. I probably will. I'll wait until there's a, a sale, obviously. I also finished up an eye gel, and I have been using this eye gel for a long time, a couple of years. I have a number of different eye products, so I, I don't religiously wear or use just one eye gel or one eye cream. I use whatever I have, whatever I can buy that I like or that I want to try, but I faithfully use an eye cream or an eye gel. I know some people don't believe in it, but I do, and I have every day, forever. And even before I was into makeup, I was removing what, or into skincare, I should say, I was using, since I was a young girl, baby oil to remove my eye makeup. So I would always have very, because my skin is dry, but I always made sure that I had a lot of moisture under my eye. But anyway, so this is Eva, Eva Naturals, I think, Eva International. I, I don't have my glasses, so I can't read this. But um, this is, I'm, and I purchased this, I think off of Amazon, and I cannot remember who first mentioned this, but I bought it and I like it, and I have it in my basket to, re, to buy again. I'm still gonna go through some other stuff first, but I, I just like this. This has been my go-to. I like the way it applies. I like the way it feels. Sometimes I'll put this on and I will use my little jade roller and I have one side of my jade roller small and I roll along my eyes. Speaking of eyes, I, well, I finished. This is the Hydra Boost Eye Mask. Um, Dr. Denise and I don't know, I, I really, I like it, but to tell you the truth, I actually started to use, and I picked, I don't even know where I picked this up, and wherever, you know, whatever eye masks you use, if you like eye masks, which I do, but I ended up picking this one up, Wander Beauty, and this is Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. If I can find a link, I will, because sometimes I... I, I buy them in the store, you know, sometimes in Ulta, sometimes in TJ Maxx, wherever I am, Marshalls, if I, I always go to the masks because I love face masks. These eye gel masks are, were awesome. When I put them on, 
I actually feel a tightening under my eyes. No word of an exaggeration. I put them on and I let them sit there, you know, and sometimes I'll take my jade roller and I'll roll a little bit, but I put them on and I can see a little bit of a difference. Now it's only temporary, right? It's not anything that's gonna be forever, but yeah, I have a few of these and I'm gonna be on the lookout for more of these because if you're going out somewhere, you're tired, you wanna just treat your eyes really nice and you like an eye mask like I do, these are awesome. These are really awesome. Now, I did like this one a lot, but, you know, I don't think price point, I don't think there's a big difference, you know, between an expensive eye mask and a more reasonable one. And I can't remember what the Wonder Beauty one was, but these were the best. I really, really like them a lot. Speaking of masks, I have gone through, this is Spa Life. I'm pretty sure I've picked up all my Spa Life masks in TJ Maxx. And I've gone through a number of these. These are, I, I will put these on. And because they're really cold and sometimes it shocks me when I get up and put this on, I will sometimes just put it in the palms of my hand before I open it up just to warm the mask up a little bit. But then I put it on and then I will take, and I would normally go with my jade roller um, or the, the, um, the, the, the new thing that I'm doing with um, baths, the, the stone. But, you know, I just kind of rub it in and then I just pat it in, go down my neck. I love these. So I'm a mask baby. These are awesome. I'll definitely get more of them. This is the Smile Life Hydrating Facial, facial Mask. And I'm sure it's not picking it up. So the other thing I finished is I get a member's mark from Sam's Club. I usually buy a huge box of their makeup removers. I like these. These are very, very reasonable. I don't take all my makeup off with them, but there are times when maybe I want to retouch or I just want to refresh or I start to take them off and I will use the, I really like these. I had a number of them in my motorhome, but um, yeah, love them. Now I've already replaced this. This is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have it in the shade Pebble. I buy mine usually at the cosmetic company outlet store and when I, they pebbles is a hot pebble for me is a hard shade up here in new hampshire to find um at the outlet but when i was at the outlet last time i think i had showed the bag i was absolutely thrilled i got two bottles of it you get two bottles for i think it ended up between the coupons and everything Two, the two bottles probably cost me $28. That's less than what you would pay for one at a store, even when they're on sale. So, yeah, that's my, that is my go-to. I put it on very lightly. It is a full coverage, and I do put it on very lightly, but I have veins that I really like to cover as much as possible, but, but I, I like it a lot. I also, out of, and I have tried a number of different spray mists, you know, makeup setting mists. This still is my favorite. I really like this Morphe Continuing Setting Mist. I've never had a problem. I know somebody said that they've had a problem spraying. I've never had a problem spraying it. I think it looks really, works really awesome. I have a small bottle for traveling. I also have um, a few other setting sprays that I'm still using, but I'm trying to really finish up what I have before I buy anything else. I have plenty of this. This is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Pencil. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I don't think anyone, anything but surgery will give me a lift on my brow. But maybe Botox would. I, I'm trying to convince Jay to let me have some Botox. You know, I could just go do it and he, he probably would never notice. But we are on a kind of a like a no buy. We have some really strong goals that we're trying to work through for this coming 2023 that are super important for us. So we're both contributing to, you know, being really conservative in many ways. But <laughs> I, I could just go ahead and do, he would never know it, but I'm kind of afraid because I've never had Botox. Uh, I've never had any anything other than a facial twice in my life. <laughs> That's it, and I'm 68. So I'm kind of afraid of how it would look. But my 11s, even though I sleep with a frowny, I'm really good sleeping with a frowny. I, I'm just starting to really feel that they're there more often. 
um, than I like. You know, I can see them, they're way more visible. So I'm trying to convince Jay of that, but he's, he's, not, um, he's not on board yet. And I haven't done it yet. But I'm afraid, like, if you do it, like, what if I come home and I'm like, I can't move my eyes or something. I don't know. But anyways, thoughts, you know, things are my, these are the things I'm going, thinking about anyways. Who knows? Um, but I like this. I actually have purchased two more when they were on sale. Elf is dirt cheap. So, and that's probably the best brow pencil that I have used on my brows. Now, my brows, are, I, some of you said I should have my brows done. They're too light. And you're probably right. I just, you know, I can't, when I really darken my brows up and, and all of that, I feel like they're Betty Davis eyes, you know, when she had, or um, was it Betty Davis? With the really thick, thick brows, that movie star way, way back in the day, Joan Crawford. That's who it was, Joan Crawford. And she just had these really big brows. And I just feel on me, it looks <laughs> ridiculous. Oh well. Anyway, so that's a little bit, not much, of my, my finally empty. And um, just to update on my skincare, I, I probably will do more of a dedicated video on skincare because I am back to using my Retin-A consistently and my skin is peeling, which I'm actually happy about. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.